This conference will now be recorded. Okay, yesterday what we have seen, we have seen about that uh, architecture of the D365. Yesterday we have seen that one is simple architecture, three tier architecture, what are the tires is available and what is the importance of those tires and how it is interlinked the each tire one to one, how it is talking. Those things we have seen yesterday. But in the today's we are going to see about that our database. Actually, it's uh, not required, but if the knowledge is required. Why these many databases is available? Okay. Uh, again, I'm showing that uh, yesterday's one thing. Uh, how it is connecting with that uh, our Dynamics 365 with the database? Go to the system administration, and here you can go with the database information. Okay, HDB and log on server this is the server and yesterday i shown the another mission but this is a this is another mission that's why the server name is different fnj jp87 see the server name is the same but uh, do you think why the database is required is any answer to extract the particular data from this server only instruction Let's say example. I can give that simple example. Suppose you got a uh, you brought a new phone, okay, and you were saving your friend numbers and family members and the office official related your personal phone numbers into your phone, right? But where it is saved actually in the memory, correct? Suppose if you are uh, you are keeping your pdf books into your mobile or laptop some space is required right to store all those information am i correct the same way uh, here also the database is required to store the data okay to store the data after that we can extract and import export it will come first of all the data needs to be stored this is the purpose that that ms sql here we using db is required but here if you see that multiple uh, modules is there accounts payable account receivable general ledger hr related one employees information data and uh, their payrolls information inventory stock okay every item it needs to be stored into the database let's say example in the real time suppose if you went to any medical shop apollo or med plus you ask for that uh, any one of the medicine they can type into that their database okay so this is not available from here onwards 1.5 kilometer we have another store in the store is available the same okay means it is searching the data and where it is available this is the same way how it is interlinked suppose this is that url based product but how it is interlinked i showed into that uh, system administration you can go to the system administration and you can go to database information it's available but we have a uh, so many databases is available hdb hdw like this but it is connected with that only one database that is the hdb because this is the your master database hdb is that your master database it is connected with that remaining all other databases okay i can show i will discuss about that one by one hdb your master database what are that uh, classes tables we are going to be interact those everything is available in your hdb i can show to you i can oh, 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 i'm opening that our environment visual studio 2017 okay here i can discuss about that visual studio ide later just i'm showing uh, about that database what it contains this is our developer environment so if you choose this career at dynamics 365 friend work consultant technical consultant the technical consultant entire life spends here okay we can interact with all those things you can expand your data model you can see that tables okay and views all this available here but where it is available suppose if here i am going to that search with that cost table 
ನಮಗೆ ಕಷ್ಟ ಎಬ್ಲಿಸ್ ದೇ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಅನ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿವರ್ ಏಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ here also customable is there okay if you have spent you can check that columns payment arm id line disk the same columns is available here also see payment arm id line disk okay it is a replica of that hdb database okay now you understand uh, what about the hdb what are you are going to see here in your aot node aot means it's a application object tree in your aot data model what are the tables views database related objects you can able to see into that your h database but you can see if you have the tables is uh, starts with that h dot and if you have the tables is a dbo dot and if you have the tables with that crt dot what is this one actually h dot and dbo dot is your h files means is a d365 tables but crt is related to that uh, pos related one point of sales re retail related tables is there okay then you can check with the views also the same way that is about that your hdb your aot is connected with that mainly hdb and hdw say it's data warehouse sometimes we are working with that uh, aggregate data entities but if you know that the concept of that uh, uh, iss uh, isas that time we are going to be implementing that uh, some ss isas keys that time we are con connecting with that h data warehouse uh, database that is information is available into that hdw you can go with that in data model there is a aggregate data entities is there these entities information is available into that hdw okay and azure storage emulator and uh, azure storage emulator db57 this uh, database having that your azure storage uh, related information is available because uh, we are using that uh, azure azure demo mission what is the users is available what is their permissions we can uh, active directory their enter release uh, is uh, information is available into that uh, azure storage emulator okay and dynamics h report server and report server tempdb these two tab two databases is talking about the reports any software or any erp is uh, reports uh, is very important because in the end of the end of the day the customer needs that uh, report suppose you have purchased one item they can send to that one invoice that invoice also is a one one report they can print it so those reports information is available here and dynamics h reference db this is very very important reference db what is this reference db means let's say example we have a so many classes is there okay so many classes is there but you worked one of the class today but you forget it but after 6 months back okay after 6 months you got a some change is required in the same class but you forget that class but how we can identify that time at least one keyword we can remember right that time you can directly right click on that uh, that object okay there is a uh option called find references just click on the find references okay wherever it is using because this is i can take that master table cust table right click and find references it can uh, it can give the result where it is used okay so many places it is used see classes classes also is used and you can check wherever it is user classes tables see this is the forms also you have used like this this data okay this data is coming from the this database okay this data is coming from the this database simply we can talk about our general language 
let's say example in your laptop or computer you have stored one file but you forget it but what is that uh, file where it is located but you only know about the name of the file that time you can go to that your my computer and search bar then it is shown that the related uh, names if it is a match like this it will also give that same result then you can find it where it is available just you can fix your here and management reporter is a uh, it's a new concept was introduced in h2012 r3 version okay the management reporter related information is available here but tp temp and trace parser temp it was created by myself okay no need to discuss about this thing and how many databases one two three four five six seven databases is a total okay and also this is a interview question they can ask about the what are the databases is available and what is the name of the database and tell that difference of the these databases okay and the main database is the hdb hdb is connected with that uh, all the remaining databases okay. Guys, am I clear? So can you explain about HDW? HDW, <clears throat> yeah. HDW is that H data warehouse related one. Let's say example, uh, you are going to work with that Power BI people. Okay, Power BI people, they want that some data entities from our D365 side. So they're asking about that create that one of the aggregate data entity okay these are that uh, aggregate data entity okay they're asking about to create this one suppose we don't have the knowledge of this one they can help us because of it's a related this concept is related to that uh, uh, apis KP, kps uh, some measures aggregate measures is there they have that some knowledge about this one so that time you have created this one you can inform them okay that table is available here not table it's a data entity is available here so they can access this data warehouse into the power bi environment then they can implement their report okay got it hello yeah got it yeah yeah this is about that uh, databases okay now we are going to see about that um, user options we are already seen right yesterday we have seen the but uh, seen about that uh, user options and today one more theory topic is pending that is that uh, application stack okay it's a very important application stack suppose if you are trying as an admin admin uh, then it is required otherwise it's a just you should know about that what is this application stack okay in the application stack we have a three mod models is there we can call it as a application suit application platform application foundation these three models of packages called combine of these called we can call it as a application stack okay i can tell in the tomorrow's class what is that uh, models and thing and uh, completely it's a practical session we can call it as a these three things uh, application stack okay and today we are going to discuss about that what it contains why the microsoft is given the suit platform foundation and why you call it application stack you can go to with that uh, docs.microsoft.com okay this is the official website for the microsoft okay and you can check here finance and operation application st uh, stack this application suit is the application foundation and application platform these three packages we can call it as a application stack where it is uh, available in the visual studio is already available i can show to you so we'll discuss uh, what is the models and we'll see tomorrow see application foundation application platform application suit combine of these three we can call it as a application stack the application suit it's a what it uh, what it contains fleet management some references is available into that your fleet management 
okay what it contains it uh, means very earlier days the pro uh, that erp is released they have introduced some how to customize your product so that some references codes is available in your fleet management and some standard code also is available here and coming to that application foundation and here the are uh, organizing the these four modules organization model means how it look like uh, what is the uh, company organization like if it is a md ceo manager technical consultant like this how it is structured and number sequence number sequence is a one separate topic it will comes under that uh, once we are entering into that forms concept okay but i can do, give that number sequence means every invoice or every purchase order or every sales order automatically one number is going to be generated in the system okay that is your number sequence one and global address book global address book having it can store that addresses of the your employees and uh, vendors customers uh, workers okay contractors what are the users is available every one address is available into that global address book source documents it is having that we can store our, our invoices against to that to purchase our sales uh, vendor customer we can uh, we can save the documents like this uh, i can show to you how to can state the document see here a paper clip icon is there currently it doesn't have that there is no document when you click on this one here you can attach <coughs> you can attach the documents like this this documents is enabled or not this application foundation source documents will handle and application platform it is uh, uh, handling these are the things runtime and data access runtime means it is executing the code and send to hit to that your database and get the data and shows this one and workflow and services and the client presentation ssrs reporting client presentation means this one client means it's your end user uh, what you are seeing that uh, google chrome this is your client and report related information is available here this one okay and this is directly we can hit and coming to finance and operation server architecture in the server architecture we can see ui interaction layer it's uh, developed based on the wcf wcf means windows communication foundation your uh, ui interaction layer means this is the your ui interaction layer I means some people is called that a end client client or end user we can call it this one this is the ui interaction layer you can go to the home yeah, this is your ui interaction layer so it is once uh, once if you click on any menu item it triggers the forms engine and it will fetch that all the related information metadata and if it is a security means here the security will check that suppose who is triggered me suppose he's a employee or what are the permissions he have suppose if he's a manager what are the permissions he have suppose if he's a manager suppose once if you enter into this form sometimes uh, if uh, the manager don't have that permission to check the form then it will uh, it will not display like this that what are the permissions login the user have it will check into that security and your cache memory is uh, suppose if it is opened previously it will open fast otherwise it will take uh, some time to open this one okay and workflow is if it is a workflow approval thing or go and batch programming is a separate process uh, and i can show it in the last class is the batch okay and data access layer data access layer everyone knows about that this is the db and what are that logic is uh, built here and will fetch the data here and it will connect to that read only secondary and database there is a two databases is there i already told we have a two we have a database hdw hdb hdb is a main database okay that's it this one database read only or secondary means you are dw this is the read only database only it will connect based on that was the request it got it okay this is about that server architecture 
and you can observe and right side one more thing is there o data endpoint wcf this is your interaction layer i can directly trigger what are the menu items i can able to see but this one also o data endpoint means if you are working with that integration projects that time the third party people they don't have access this one okay so they can directly call with that endpoint endpoint means this one i can show to you that o data how it is uh, the third party people is going to trigger and it generate that json query then the, the json query they can interact into that their logic this is about that finance uh, server architecture okay uh, and theoretically also they mentioned the thing you can go through this document and you can uh, read then you can get that some more knowledge okay these are the very ba basic things and cloud architecture this is actually development architecture okay we'll talk about that uh, most of the thing about this one if you see your uh, development environment you can zoom in more yeah visual studio visual studio having that your coding and process system what are the designers what are the, if it is available and suppose if we debug the code there is a shortcut called f5 we need to press that enable the debug and start the f5 and it is running into that your local runtime batch manager service storage service aoa service hosted by is yesterday i have showed right where is aos is available okay that is the aos is available into that your ias internet information services suppose if it is a business database and it is go to the package metadata binaries and data i can show to you that uh, in the next class what is the metadata and why the metadata is very important and how the metadata is available in that your aot and your database in the very uh, very first time in the today's class i have shown right uh, the table c is uh, available there and there and that is the because of the metadata how we can update the metadata and i can show to you in the tomorrow's class and once if it is a package is built and it we can show into that your cloud instance okay suppose if it is a build there is a two options directly if you want debug this process if you don't want debug build it binary system again we can show this one <coughs> immediately it will also open into that your model store file system okay and model model store uh, models or packages both are the same guys but early earlier there is a difference uh, packages was not there but d365 onwards packages was introduced but now onwards the model store is available into that uh, file system i can show to you that where it is available inside the file system the metadata also is available everything because it will take that uh, one class to explain this one one hour needs to be required so i can start the this one uh, freshly this entire thing this uh, models and metadata and packages entire thing it will take that one class that is uh, tomorrow one hour session i can take this one and this is about that your development uh, environment just for knowledge go through this link and you can get it but anyway once if you are able to write the programs you can easily debug then you can understand what is that architecture and what is this one you can easily understand it okay this is about that uh, today's class guys if you have any questions you can ask me and 